Hey, do nuts. Knock, knock. Who's there, you ask? A zombie's there. It's the end of the world. There's no time for jokes. The f is wrong with you? Follow these steps if you want to survive. First, be prepared. You should already have a pre-packed survival bag, a reliable vehicle, and a cheeky butler to provide assistance, support, and comic relief. I call mine Pickles. If you're not prepared, you have failed from step one. For all you know, they could be runners, like in 28 days later. They'll be here any minute. You should probably just go outside and wait for your impending doom. Okay, well, maybe you've got more time than you thought. You would know the zombies were walkers, not runners, if you'd followed step two. Acquire information. It's the end of the world. Internet servers aren't going to be up for long. So gather as much information as you can about the outbreak, back up your iTunes library, put all of your adult content on a flash drive, stick that flash drive in a shoebox under your bed labeled love letters. That way it's just ridiculous enough that no looters would even consider looking there. Self-pity. Wow. The world's ending and we're gonna make forever alone jokes about all the single people who are gonna die alone? Just twist the knife handle? Who writes this? <sighs> Pickles! Yes, sir. Look, these, these people are already gonna be having a bad day. They don't need to hear that. Just lighten up, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. He's a cheeky <laughs> Step three, now that you know your country's entire infrastructure, government, and military have somehow been dismantled by slow-moving corpses, you know that you're pretty much on your own. Look for ways to arm yourself. Oh, I've got the perfect thing under my bed. Well, I can't get to my guitar right now because my metal baseball bat is in the way. I hear zombies really hate Augustana. He said, you don't know me, you don't even care. Shut up. Step four, be prepared to move. Sooner or later, you're going to have to hit the road and look to form a settlement with other drifters like yourself. So now would be an excellent time to pack that survival bag that should have been packed four steps ago. Travel light and be space efficient. Now at first glance, this should look like a pretty solid pack to get me through the week. But look again. The biggest thing in the pack, the rum, is almost gone. So I should drink it all now and then go get a new one from the now abandoned liquor store around the corner. I am gonna survive the sh** out of this apocalypse. Nope, I'm I'm done with her. That's no longer a thing. Pickles? Yes, sir. No more Navi. But, sir... Hey, listen. There's no overarching moral this time, no point to all of this. I suppose if there is a point, it's that sometimes all we need to survive another week is to take time to laugh and be silly and realize we're probably going to be okay. Thanks, as always, just for watching. If you didn't like this video, here's a picture of me, zombified. Sadly, I see very little difference. In fact, he's kind of an improvement. Since he's not really alive, he doesn't have to take any more finals. I'm kind of jealous. It's time for finals, so I have to go away for a couple weeks, but you guys can keep in touch via Tumblr and Twitter and all that. In fact, it's better that way, because I still get to steal minutes of your life, and you don't even have to see or hear me. Win-win.